Right oh, here we are, North Queensland, Australia. We're out on the Tully River. I'm here with Jack. We're a couple of kayakers and rafters. And uh, I was up the river the other day, and two of my mates, shout out to Sean Hawkins and Jack Muller. They, uh, they told me there was some pretty nasty timber in one of the rapids down the river. So here we are at Zigzag Rapid. It's grade three plus. And uh, you can see there's the entrance, main flow around the rock. And uh, right here at the exit, every once in a while, you can see a little bit of timber right at the tip of my finger there. It's uh, in a dodgy spot, and it has the potential to rip the floor out of a raft, pin a kayaker, or worse, if someone drops a rafting customer on this spicy entrance, they could possibly uh, get a trap wrapped around that log. So our job today, I guess, is to try and remove that hazard and clear it. Uh, so this rapid becomes safer than it is right now. Uh, we have a bunch of gear here. Um, and we're going to have a red hot crack and trying to pull it out. How do you reckon we'll go, Jack? I reckon we can do it. You, I like that attitude. Nice one. Let's have a go. So over in there is our log. And we're going to try and pull it up and over this way, I guess. We've got a bunch of gear, heap of ropes, carabiners, young strong fella up there that's going to do all the pulling okay set up a bit of an anchor over here and uh yeah this is the gear we got to work with three long ropes heap of carabiners lots of webbing pulleys if we can't get it done with this then we just can't get it done i reckon tell me what you reckon the plan is well we've got two coils and a big loop we're going to tuck one to the right and then one upstream on the left by the time it floats over it. So we can get a loop around it? Yeah. Yeah, roger that. Let's see how we go. Yes, Jack! Let's, you and me, just try and pull on this. Fuck yeah, there's not even any flex in it, is there? Yeah. All right, step one, we've got a rope around the log. Okay, we've got our bowline tied off super high so that once we put it under massive amounts of pressure, uh, the rope's not tied off to the end that we can't access. Um, we've tried yanking on this thing and it just is really stuck in there. There's no flex and it's not moving at all. And that's because of one or two things. Either the current is pushing it there and holding it in place really tight or underwater the part of the log that we can't see is massive and it's heavy and it's solid north queensland hardwood which is what you find in the rainforest all around here so our next plan of attack since we can't pull it out with the two of us is we're going to try tripling our pulling power using some mechanical advantage so jack and i we're going to set up an anchor over there and uh see if we can't get this thing to move a little bit okay Got our loop around the log on the end, coming up here to our anchor. Uh, got a brake on our Z-drag, and we've got a three to one mechanical advantage system set up. So with me and Jack, we got the, we've gone from the pulling power of two people to the pulling power of six people. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try and haul on this thing and hopefully get it out of the way, move it a little bit. All right, so, our log's not moving. We tried our mechanical advantage and uh, young Jack and I are just discussing our options. So this thing's super tight with our Z drag on it. Um, and I guess we're thinking about changing the way that we're gonna pull the log. So we're thinking about maybe putting a big loop over the rock here and putting a pulley on it, transferring the line down to the pulley and then down to the log so that we're actually pulling the log up more than pulling it towards the bank. Um, we've also thought about putting a vector pull on our rope, uh, maybe trying to pull that um, in a different direction to get some advantage there as well. Uh, but we'll see. We're, we're floating a few ideas around. We'll see which one we end up on. Have a look at this. We bloody moved it. Jack's <laughs> idea, by the way. He's like, Z-Drag's not working. Let's do a vector pull. Now the challenge is to try and get this out without creating more of a hazard than we started with. Moving already.
You've got the winning ideas, Jack. What do you reckon we do next, young fella? <laughs> I'll hold it. Let me get over there, I'll give you a hand. Oh, oh. I wonder if we let it loose, it'll kind of lay flat and float this way. I just don't want it to go back. Let's try a bit of brute strength. Watch it doesn't fall on you. Guide it whatever way you want. Up on the rock. Woo, Jack, my guy. Yeah, oh, that's how you do it. God damn, that is what success looks like. <laughs> hey, man, I can't believe that we just had that thing just by that little loop on the top. Yeah. Like the fact it didn't just slide down. It's pretty yeah, incredible. Pretty yeah. All right. So you can see just behind these two rocks here on the other side, that's the main flow of the rapid. And uh, we had the logs sticking up in there. We've managed to pull it free from its position and pull it up. And now we got it sitting behind this rock. Um, don't be fooled by uh, the look of it looks small, but that thing is super dense. It's hardwood, it's waterlogged, it's actually really bloody heavy. So now I guess the question is, do we leave it here? You know, it's uh, out of the way, the rapid's free now, it's no longer a hazard. I mean, there's other timber kind of sitting around as well, but that's not a problem. Now I guess if we do move it from this position, it might get away on us and it might just go down to the very next rapid and get jammed in there. So. We're kind of debating about whether we leave it here on the back side of this rock. There's going to be an eddy here. Most of the time it's out of the current and maybe the next flood it might wash away. Um, certainly we've achieved our objective though of making that drop safe. Um, so we've done that and it's just now a matter of thinking how safe do we want to make it for the future? Um, we don't want it in a spot where it's going to fall back in and just end up in the same spot. Um, so yeah, we'll have a quick chat. What do you reckon, Jack? What do you reckon the plan of attack is? I reckon give it a shake and see how solid it is there. That feels real solid. Uh, all in favour of leaving the log there? Aye. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's democracy in action, ladies and gentlemen. That's where it shall remain. Job done. Oh, no. Bring your friends, partner